Good afternoon. How are you? This is Kim Murphy, a seasoned web designer and a search engine marketer here at Shooting Internet, going to make a video how to monitor a web form. You know, those online forms on a website which the customer fills out the information, presses a submit button, and then the website owner gets emailed. For example, take a look at my website. Here is the Contact Us page. Uh, the user fills out some information and hits submit. Now, a lot of companies worry that if they have these forms, if something happens and it's not working, they would like to be notified. They'd like to know the form is not working. Uh, let's get this fixed or let's get this working so that they're not losing customers. So let's take a look at how to do this. Uh, first note on my form, I'm only requiring the email address and the phone number. And so what we want to do is uh, on Pingdom, we want to make sure we click on Monitoring, then click on Transaction, and from there, click on Add New. From there, I just want to tell it what to do. Uh, you don't want to overload the server, and you don't need to check it every one minute, every 10 minutes, but I say check it every 24 hours because it's going to fill out your contact form for you. If it fills out your contact form for you, you don't want several emails a day that are simply tests. So I recommend just doing it once every 24 hours. So this is a web form check daily. And uh, we're going to make sure our transaction monitor is clicked. And uh, I put everything on critical. And we just want to copy the URL. So the syntax for this is um, go to URL URL. And it might be confusing, so you actually have to type in the words go to URL. And then type in the URL, which we'll copy and we'll paste. So that you see what we're doing. We're just copying this here. And then uh, just press enter. As you can see, the system is going to help you with the syntax of the programming here. So what we want to do now is just fill in a field. Once you double click it, it's going to find all the fields on your website. As you recall, you only have to test the email address and the phone number. So let's find the email address. Double click it. Press enter, and the phone number, let's see, fill in field, double click it, and phone number. Duh. Press enter, and just make sure it submits the submit button so that we get the email. Let's see, where is that submit button? Here we go. Double click it. That's press enter, and we are done. Now we already know it's working because you see the green time is saying that the website is now testing the form and that tells us at least the first three lines of the code are in fact working. Let's get this uh, out of here and uh, submit this. Create check. And there you go, inside your pingdom uh, you now created a system that checks your web form each day every 24 hours by going to your contact form, filling out your required fields, and pressing the submit button. So again, thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me um, at shootinginternet.com. Again, that's shootinginternet.com for both web development, search engine marketing, and Google ads. Thank you very much. And you have a great day.